WFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. Here the Dow Industrials finished down 401. Nasdaq down 20. S&P's off 26. Gold. Gold contract down $10.50. Trade at 1777 an ounce. We have silver down 42 cents. $19.93 an ounce. Platinum's off nine bucks. 8.92. You get light, sweet, crude, flat. $94.23 a barrel. And notes and bonds. You get the 10-year note trading down. One full point plus 10 ticks at 120.01. The 30 off two points plus 10 ticks at 142.12. And you know what's interesting, folks? I got a feeling, now this is going to be really wild. I got a feeling these bond dealers didn't like the aspect of that what's going to happen is that the inside the bond market, this came across, and I got a feeling that this is it. They're going to have to basically um, post bond trades within one minute. And the bond market is totally non-transparent, man. Um, I saw this come across when I, when I was on the air, the, the, you know, uh, basically three to four. But we'll have the whole story for you tomorrow. But I, I suspect that's what's going on because the, the bond folks have always made more than anyone else because the spreads are so much bigger and of being non-transparent. King dollar. King dollar right now, that traded. Where the heck are you, King dollar? Where'd you go? There it is. Traded up. 836 ticks at 106,286. The euro is 101, the yen is 133, and the British pound is at 121. We go over to the SPY, we take a look at the SPY. Didn't hold price, didn't have the volume. That says you're going to back down. Uh, first back down can get you into the 400 area. Right now you're at 408. NDX 100, same type of setup inside the NDX. Bottom line, couldn't hold price. Uh, 46 million shares. Yeah, and 46 million yesterday. So at least it did that. that. That's the bottom line. So that's saying, yeah, we can have the Qs back down to like the 308. Right now you're at 314. That's how that baby is set up. Uh, after the close, uh, the, Starbucks, I believe, comes out at 10 past 4. And uh, well, it just says after market here. But uh, bottom line is that uh, the way this is laying out right now, I suspect Starbucks is going to go south. That's how, that's how it's looking. Uh, it's closing out, uh, it, well, it says it closed 83.71, but it's trading 84.25 right now, and uh, they still haven't come out with their numbers. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit uh, Tommy tomorrow morning. Don't forget about Basil's webinar. It's a week from tomorrow. Check it out on the front page of TFNN. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one.